Yo, what's going on guys? It's time for another reaction video. And today I'm gonna to be reacting to top 10 Filipino food, most popular food in the Philippines. Uh, I've been to the Philippines before. It's been probably 12 or more years. Um, and one of my favorite things to eat there was the, uh, the uh, garlic rice. That was like one of my favorite, favorite things. Um, I tried a lot of different stuff while I was there. I was in Manila. Uh, went to Boracay, um, a few other spots that I'm not remembering because it's just been so long now. Uh, I really want to go back, man. It's a beautiful country, a beautiful place, lots of uh, nice beaches. Um, but yeah, this is my first time doing a reaction video to anything in the Philippines. So let's get straight into it and see what other food they bring up that maybe perhaps I didn't uh, check out. Hey guys, my name is Fonzie, and this is Filipino Food 101. On this video, I'll be sharing the top 10 most popular food in the Philippines. In no particular order, let's get started. Before we jump into this, Fonzie, uh, you guys go check out his channel. It's GG Fonzie. I'm going to subscribe myself right now. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking this video out from Fonzie. First we have adobo. You can't go wrong with adobo, as this is probably the most popular dish in the Philippines. Some even consider this as the Philippines national dish, which is of course still unofficial. It usually consists of pork or chicken, or sometimes both. Stewed or braised in a sauce usually made from vinegar, cooking oil, garlic, bay leaf, peppercorns, and soy sauce. Pretty sure I tried adobo at some point there, but I can't remember specifically. There are also other variants of adobo, like seafood and squid adobo, which I will share to you on the upcoming cooking videos. So make sure to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you'll be updated with the latest delicious and most exciting food videos on this channel. Next we have Sinigang. This is probably the second most popular dish or arguably the most popular dish in the Philippines. Sinigang is most often associated with tamarind in modern times, but it originally referred to any meat or seafood cooked in a sour or acidic broth similar to but differentiated from paksiu. Sinigang typically use pork, beef, fish, shrimp, and sometimes also chicken, stewed with tamarind, tomatoes, garlic, and onions. Most Filipinos like to cook sinigang with green long peppers in order to enhance the taste and add a little spice to the dish. Another variation includes adding locally made miso, Up next is caldereta. This one is what I consider the Philippines stew. Variations of this dish use beef, chicken, or pork. Commonly, the meat is stewed with vegetables and liver paste. Vegetables may include tomatoes, potatoes, olives, bell peppers, and hot peppers. This dish actually has a lot of variants, and I'll be showing how to cook each variant very soon might have to be coming back to this channel more often just to see those because uh, I want to learn how to prepare some of these dishes. Next is Tinola. Tinola is a Filipino chicken soup usually served as an appetizer or main entree. Traditionally, this dish is cooked with chicken, wedges of green papaya, chili pepper in a broth flavored with ginger, onions, and fish sauce. Some also use sayote or yellow papaya instead of green papaya for the dish. Personally, I prefer to use yellow papaya for this dish as it provides a more dynamic flavor. Then we have sisig. Sisig is a kapangpangan dish made from parts of pig head and chicken liver usually seasoned with calamansi, onions, and chili peppers. 
Lucia Conanan of Angela City, also known as Aling Lusing, has been credited with reinventing Sisig by grilling the pig's ears and using the cheeks as well. The Not gonna lie, I would probably be a little intimidated to try that one, but I would I would give it a shot. But the idea of eating cheeks and cheeks not as bad, but the ears is a little bit much. Um yeah but for all i know it tastes just the same as the rest of it and i mean i've eaten chicken hearts before um in brazilian food so what's a, what's an ear or a cheek compared to a heart <laughs> philippine department of tourism has acknowledged that her aling lusing's restaurant had established angla city as the sisig capital of the philippines in 1974. by the way if you want me to make a food tour video at Aling Lusing's restaurant, just let me know in the comments down below as I also live in Angeles City. If you happen to see me watching uh, and reacting to your video and you haven't made that video yet, I would love to see that. Next is the chon. Lechon. Now this looks very familiar. This is something um, with my dad being from Cuba. Uh, we've done this several times ourselves, um, where we smoke a full pig. We usually do it on Christmas Eve. Um, but in more recent years now, we just do a stuffed pork tenderloin instead of the full pig. I don't think we've done a full pig in probably well over 10 years, but we have done it several times. The chon is a slow roasted pig usually served during fiestas and other celebrations. It is usually served with a sauce called sarsa which I call the Philippine gravy. It is made of liver, breadcrumbs, vinegar, sugar, and spices. Think of it as a sweet and savory gravy. Leftover parts from the lechon, such as the head and feet, are usually cooked into another popular dish called lechon paxil. More on that on the upcoming videos. Then we have lumpia. lumpia. Consider this as the Philippine egg roll. Filling is usually composed of ground pork with minced onions and carrots, seasoned with salt and pepper and other spices. Filipino lumpia can be differentiated from other Asian egg roll versions, as they use a paper thin wrapper. It is usually served with sweet and sour sauce, banana ketchup, or seasoned vinegar. Filipino lumpia also have a unique and extremely popular dessert subcategory, the turon. Watch out for that soon, so make sure you subscribe. Kare kare. Kare kare is a Philippine stew complemented with a thick, savory peanut sauce. It is made from a variation base of stewed oxtail, vegetables which include eggplant, Chinese cabbage, and other greens are added, usually equaling or exceeding the amount of meat in the dish. Karakare is usually made of pork or beef, and sometimes also ox tribe, but this dish can also be made with seafood. Karakare is often served with bagoong or more commonly known as shrimp paste. Kare-kare is actually my personal all-time favorite, and I like it served with sweet and spicy bagoong. One of the things I'm noticing uh, is that a lot of them are very kind of like hearty meals and, and stews. Uh, very similar dishes, but I'm sure they each have their own little unique thing that's different about them, obviously, which, which is why they have different names. But from an outsider standpoint, if you were to put all these dishes side by side, they would look very similar to me. Bulalo. Bulalo is a light colored soup that is made by cooking beef shanks and bone marrow until the collagen and fat has melted into the clear broth. It typically includes cabbage, corn, scallions, onions, garlic, ginger, and fish sauce. 
It is commonly eaten with rice and is served with soy sauce and calamansi on the side. And finally, we have tokwat baboy, which actually means tofu and pork. It consists of pork ears, pork belly, and deep fried tofu, and is served in a mixture of soy sauce, pork broth, vinegar, chopped white onions, scallions, and red chili peppers. It is usually served as an appetizer or as a meal served with rice, or as a side dish to rice porridge. So those are the top 10 most popular food in the Philippines. What is your favorite Filipino food? Let me know at the comments down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell for more exciting and delicious videos. Again, this is Fonzie and this is Filipino Food 101 and I really hope to see you in the next episode. So stay tuned as we are cooking soon. Cool. Uh, I was hoping to see some uh, live dishes at like restaurants and stuff, but this was still a great um, take on that and at least kind of getting to see an overview of the dishes and all the individual ingredients. Um, it's hard for me to choose a favorite out of those because I would need to try them. Um, but I typically lean more to beef or chicken based meals. Uh, but yeah, so maybe next time I go back to the Philippines, I'll have to, uh, come back to this video again and check it out and, and find the best places to try some of these things. Um, if you guys have suggestions on other videos in the Philippines, I should check out, uh, whether it's food, culture, beaches, the mountains, um, history, uh, pretty much anything and everything there is to know about the Philippines, uh, comment below, let me know leave me a link if you can, and I will start reacting to those videos as well. If you're new here, subscribe, click the bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video, and uh, comment below if you've been to the Philippines before or if you are in the Philippines and watching this video from the Philippines, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!